So I've already shared the fact that I've shit myself, that I've been doing stuff on a day, and as I'm walking, I've been drinking garlic. Gar that alone makes people feel like, oh, I can't do it. I can't talk to the these people. They're going to smell garlic off me. It's not that I had a wee bit of garlic bread the night before. I've been drinking four cloves of garlic a day for a week at this point. I smell not necessarily like a bulb of garlic, but that's what you would smell like normally. Now, I keep my, I keep my body healthy. And I get a lot of workouts in and I'm always moving. So so my body operates at a better capacity. But you still smell like it. But the other side of that is, as you're cleansing, usually if you need to go to the toilet, you can wait, etc. When you've been drinking those garlic, ginger, chili shakes, when your body needs to go, there's no questions. Unless there's something right beside you at times, then it's an evacuation. Now, if I can have a fucking evacuation talking to someone, I'm standing right there and my body just went, need to shit, and it's shit. How would you respond? You'd be petrified. You wouldn't be able to do it again. You'd get uncomfortable. You'd cut it short. It's already been done at this stage. I've already made the mistake. I already fucked up. Bite the bullet. <clears throat> Stay focused. Try and move efficiently. You don't want the person to know. You don't want the person to smell it. If you're trying to influence someone, if you're trying to keep someone on board, a part of your team, it doesn't look good when you've shit yourself. Now you're already confident, so you look and and you're effective. But the moment you do things that, that don't seem right, people very easily, especially nowadays, go, well, I don't want to be a part of that. And yes, it's because the body's cleansing. But it's also the, the fact that these things can happen, but people don't understand it. They don't understand that the body cleanses. So you can't show that. So I had to stay on point, finish my day. Now I handled it effectively. I'm not going to tell you how. But when you need to get things done, when you need to get things handled, guess what? You can handle them. And it's not always that I'm in an environment where I can go straight here and do this and do that. Sometimes you have to move on the go, think quick, get this, go to there, do that. Stay on point. You can't be late. You can't waste five minutes. So you have to do things as quickly as possible. And guess what? You're better uh, in a better condition than most people. Because some people didn't get a shower that last night or this morning. They haven't done anything and they go to the toilet and they don't. I've worked in environments where I know half of the faculty don't clean themselves properly. Half of the faculty go to the toilet and, and, and a lot of people go, fuck it, I don't want to wipe. And they just stand up and go. They don't wash their hands. Now, is that everyone? No, some people are far, far more effective, whatever. But on a day-to-day -day basis... If you cannot handle a small thing like fucking shitting yourself, like smelling of garlic, like having confrontation, getting into a fucking fight at times, getting grabbed, getting pushed, getting told to fuck off by someone who owns the building, fuck off, are you still going to walk in there straight past that fucker? Because you got something more important to do than to listen to someone who's telling you you're not welcome. Because at any stage you back down, remember, for every 10 to 20 times that you step up massively, every tiny reduction can knock you down massively. You might have went out all day, been beaten, hammering, grinding, restless, not stopping, no breaks, no food, no water, no toilet break. You're just so in, into getting it done, handled, fighting, fighting, fighting. Your body's full of adrenaline. You're about to be exhausted and you have to get up early again tomorrow. You've done a workout this morning. You've done so much at this stage. You could easily use the excuse, well, maybe, maybe I'm just tired because of this. No, you didn't even go there. You kept moving and kept pushing. It's easy at those moments to make excuses. But as you keep pushing and you refuse to, you've, you've earned so much throughout that day doing that. 
But if at the stage you come back to the house, you immediately lower what that standard was. You're in the habit of getting back to the house, relax time, don't really make much of a difference. Don't, don't upset anyone, don't annoy anyone. Don't voice the changes that need to be made. Just be silent about it. So you order food and the food's not right, you don't send it back. You don't even care, you don't care to say. The staff wasn't good, still you leave a fucking tip. That is a fucking shit accountability for your life. You just went through all that and you're willing to be served a pile of shit for the rest of the day. That's on you, that's your fault. And if you accept that, then you will fall down. Even though you did so much, that's, an, that's not a good enough level of, of execution for a day. From start to finish, throughout the whole 24 hour period, all of it must be to a high standard. All of it must be to a high level of execution. Everything. I don't care if you're dealing with something that seems unimportant. I don't care if you're talking to the Pope one day and you're talking to the fucking cleaner of some uh, fast food restaurant that you're at. If you talk to those two people differently, then that's a sad reflection of you. Because everyone's just doing, living their lives. Some people have chosen to go in one direction, other people in a different one. And you don't know how hard they're working, you don't know what they're going through. But how you hold yourself is reflected through all of these things. But if you want to look at the quality of someone's life, you look at how they talk to someone who's seen as high up in 